Hi everyone, this is Phil from Mid Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Featherlight in Arc Aberration. The Featherlight is one of the more challenging light producing creatures to acquire in Arc Aberration, and this is due to the fact that they typically spawn in areas of high radiation. But that's not always the case, I was able to find this one spawned at 60 latitude, 65 longitude. To actually tame one of these things, it is a passive tame, but they tend to wander all over the place in a relatively dangerous area, so I recommend building yourself a little stone hut, a one by one will do just fine, you will need three walls and a roof to start with, and this will help you tame it in relative safety. So once you've got the roof, on, then you're going to get yourself a grappling hook, because this is the best way to get the bird to go in the box. Be aware though, if you try to shoot it while it's in the air, it will not work, it just won't attach to it. But if it's on the ground, you'll have no trouble at all, it'll it'll snag to it and you're able to pull it wherever you like. So you can pull your featherlight into the relative safety of your taming box. Now once you got it in there, it's just a simple matter of putting up the fourth wall. You can either put a wall there or a door wall there, I just put a wall because I really I really don't care. We're going to spend some quality time. Then you just feed it plant species Z by putting it into the 10th slot of your hotbar and pressing E. And there you go. You've got yourself a feather light. Once you've got the feather light, you can press E and then demolish your wall and go about your business of having a feather light. Well, what does a feather light do for you? Well, it does a few things. First off, you can throw it and uh, it'll fly around because feather lights do not walk on their own. So if you have it standing there, that's all it will do is it will stand there. It will not follow you. It'll have to fly to follow. You can of course pet it to make it glow just like all of the other glowing pets and it has the three stats that are unique to glowing pets, the charge capacity, regen, and emission range. The Feather Light has the best recharge rate of any of the glow pets but the worst overall charge capacity. Do you know any other cool uses for the Feather Light? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or better yet subscribe to the channel and as always, have fun out there.